Proton put out this blog, AWS outage takes down half the internet. Here's how we fix it. Not sure if you agree with this, but it does highlight some issues where the internet is now centralized on certain hyperscalers like AWS. So in this blog, they talk about how a major AWS outage has taken down huge portions of the internet, including Amazon, Alexa, Signal, Slack, Ring doorbells, many other websites have been taken down. It's happened previously in the same region in 2023, 2021, and 2020, with each outage causing widespread service interruptions. And this is a reminder that the internet is no longer a decentralized network where anyone could freely publish, connect, or build something. We have now become dependent on a handful of corporations so when Amazon, Google, Microsoft, or Meta experience disruptions, the world goes offline. But what can we do about it? Here firstly are some of the issues with using big tech. We think of them as giving us redundancy, but they are actually a single point of failure. When one system goes down, it affects millions. For example, a Microsoft 365 and Azure outage in October disrupted access to Teams, Outlook, and other business tools. We've had issues with Google taking down services, including Spotify and Discord. But we also have a data concentration, which gives them economic and political leverage. Government agencies and companies are reliant on these providers. They have enormous influence and can raise prices, set terms, comply or not with government data requests and dictate who gets to operate online. We've seen this in the past where big tech deplatforms apps and services overnight and Proton being based in Europe says this is a problem because the data is no longer stored in Europe, it's stored perhaps in a foreign jurisdiction with different laws and different interests. So again, how can you reduce the impact of an AWS outage? Consider independent cloud storage. So Proton are obviously gonna mention Proton Drive, their option, but have a look at perhaps other options if you don't wanna use Proton, but Proton does give you end-to-end -end encryption. Keep offline backups of your data. Always remember that the cloud is just a bunch of servers. They can decide that you can no longer access your data and look at using offline capable tools. And then they mention things like setting up monitoring and alerts, using a multi-region deployment and implementing failover backup systems, as well as developing and testing a disaster recovery plan. Now you can read more about this on Proton's website, but the issue is that the internet is no longer a decentralized network like it was first envisioned. A lot of the world is now centralized on a few, very few companies based in the US, where for instance, the NSA or other organizations can get access to your data if they want to. I think for a lot of us, we would prefer to have our data offline. Were you affected by this AWS outage? Do you think it's better to store your data offline? What are your thoughts?